Since I managed to find my way onto Book Talk, I've seen a lot of people talking about Haunting Adeline and how shocking it is. And it just so happens that I listened to this a few months ago. The usual books that I would listen to or read would be horror. So one of my friends was telling me about how good this book was. And all she really said is that it was about a stalker and that people get killed. So I thought, right, okay, I'll give it a go. I didn't even ask her what genre of book it was, but considering I know what she usually reads, I should have known better. Now, I normally don't read books or watch TV shows or films with spice, as they say on book talk. But I'm not a prude whatsoever. It's just sometimes I find it really cringy. And I must admit, a lot of this book I found really cringy. A lot of people were really horrified that the stalker was doing stuff to this woman we are. And I thought to myself, I'm not even shocked by that. I'm more shocked about the fact that he's using something that's probably got germs and it's dirty. And considering he's supposed to be in love with this woman, he's just about to give her a yeast infection. The overall story was actually quite good. But when it came to the spicy parts, I kept thinking, this must have been written by a man. There's no way that a woman wrote this. And I know it's supposed to be like animalistic, primal, lose control, you know, like you just, you can't hold yourself back and you're doing things, you can't stop yourself. And I get that, but just the way the emotions and stuff were explained, it, it just seemed so basic. And I thought that a woman would have been better at writing stuff like that. Obviously, I don't usually read books like this, so I've got nothing to compare this to whatsoever. That's just my personal opinion. My friend couldn't wait to read the second one, but I don't think that I will be listening to the second one. To be honest, I think that the guy's voice in the audiobook made it a thousand times sleazier than what it was intended. I think if I'd have read it and I had my own like visuals in my head and my own voice in my head, it would have it would have been a lot better. But the way that they did the guy's voice, it was it was a bit weird. It was creepy, and I know he was a stalker, right? But she was falling in love with him and. He was supposed to also be a nice guy, and his voice just it didn't fit it. Singing erupts moments later, and I freeze from the ice-cold chills traveling down my spine. It certainly wasn't the worst book I've ever listened to in my life, and I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. I don't think I'll be reading any more books like this, though.